Have you heard of the Facebook units feature in Facebook groups? Well, if you have a Facebook group that you're using to build your business for prospecting or customer getting or even team building or customer support, if you've got products or a team that you manage, you've got to be using this really cool semi new feature in Facebook groups called units. This will allow you to keep the content that can be somewhat overwhelming in threads inside of your Facebook group really organized and help your members to have a better user experience inside of your groups. And you can also gamify it and make them go through the information in the order that you want them to go through. It's such a cool feature. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to set up the units in your Facebook group. And I'm also gonna share with you how I'm specifically using this feature in some of my groups. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 126. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. So there's really like two kinds of Facebook groups. There's a pre-sale Facebook group that you would use to prospect and warm potential customers or teammates up before they buy or join your team or join your business. And then there's like a post sale type of group, like a support group, right? Or a team group where after you have a customer, or after you have a teammate, you would use that group to support them. So there's really those two kinds of groups. So I'm going to share with you how to get these units set up in your group, how to specifically use them and how to benefit most from them. But in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, you know that I like to equip you with a free resource that you can use in your business. And if you don't yet have a profitable and thriving Facebook group, come on, you need one. I'm going to teach you how to get one and build one and how to set it up properly. I've put a free guide together for you called my Facebook profitable group community set up um, and it's really just a guide to a profitable Facebook community and uh, you can pick that up over on the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 126 download it's ready for you it's free we'll drop a link in the description box if you're watching this on my YouTube video on my YouTube channel if you're already on my blog uh, there'll be a big yellow button right below this video click it and you will get my guide to a profitable Facebook community so you're not missing out on this incredible wave right now to help you grow and build your business so if you have a pre-sale group, a group that you're using before somebody joins or buys from you, really to build your brand, to build your value, to get that relationship going with your prospect or potential customer, I want you to think of some of these ideas that you can use uh, inside of these units for, that you can use these units for. Number one, we've been using this for categories of value to sort of give us some organization inside of our group. So we've got certain categories that we know are important to our members in our group. And then we categorize our posts inside of those units and we keep everything nicely organized in there for quick reference point for our members. Number two, we obviously have many lead opportunities in there. So anytime we can recommend some resources or a webinar that we're doing that will um, you know, promote something in exchange for name, email, and telephone number so we can generate leads and then uh, turn that lead into a sale. So we're putting lead opportunities obviously inside Side of our units section of our group. Also too, we use these units to help us come up with content and course ideas, okay? So sometimes we put our members through a series that we want them to go through in the order that we want them to go through it in the unit section as well. And just make sure that you join our B Lab, which is our free Facebook group community. You can actually see us do this in action inside of that group there. Um, and we'll leave a link in the resources or show notes section as well below or above this video, wherever you're watching it. Um, and it'll take you to our Build Like a Boss, our, build, our, our B Lab group. Um, or you can just go to buildlikeabossgroup.com and it'll take you there as well. 
We also like to showcase testimonials and success stories in our unit section. So anytime our members post something that they've had like a win or a champagne moment inside of our group due to being a part of our group or being connected to us, we will tag that post as a unit called success stories inside of our groups and highlight them there. So the second kind of group is post sale or support group, right? That's another type of group that you can have. So I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas on how we're using our units in our support groups. Number one, you can include getting started steps. Okay, so this is so cool. Before you used to have like an offshoot membership area or you know website that you would have to build if you want people to go through your getting started steps in a certain order. Now you can do this all within your Facebook group and you can create a unit called getting started and you can have step one do this, step two, and your members inside of this unit section can also mark that they've completed that step, which is really awesome. The second way we're using it in our support groups is organized content as well. So certain training topics that we know that are important, almost like the category section. So we categorize our training inside of the unit section as well as a quick reference point for our members to go get easy access to that topic of training that they're specifically looking to excel or get uh, better skilled in. Number three, we also use our unit section for an FAQ area, frequently asked questions area. So there's gonna be lots of people in your Facebook group that ask good questions. Typically, that same question might come up over and over and over again. But if you archive that post as inside of the, the unit section called frequently asked questions, you can direct your members to the frequently asked questions section as leverage and automation inside the group and to better support the group as well. So FAQ section is a must inside of your groups. And then again, number four in our support group that we have in our customer group, we also showcase customer testimonials as well. So success stories and testimonials, just the same as our post-sale group on, or sorry, our pre-sale group, our post-sale group will have testimonials and success stories as well. So as you can see in our Facebook groups, this is how we're using it. And so to enable units on your Facebook group, you want to make sure that your group is set up as a group type called social learning okay and now facebook changes all the time and so if you're watching this video right now and you don't see what we're showing you right now uh you know just google it or find a little youtube video on how to get units set up on your group but currently right now as i'm filming this video if you go and change your group type to a social learning type group it's not going to do anything to your current group that you have right now if you go and change the group type but then after you change the group type and you save you'll have access to getting set set up with the units. And remember, if you don't already have a profitable Facebook group community set up or you wanna know more of the settings or content type things that you're supposed to be posting in the group to really get the group revved up for you as far as business and profitability, make sure to pick up my guide that we put together for you, for you on this episode here called my Facebook Profitable Community Group Setup. All right, we've got it ready for you over on the blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 120. 26 download. I'm sure you're going to love it. It's free. Go grab it right now. Question of the week. Are you using the units feature in your Facebook group communities? If you are, and we maybe missed something that's really important that maybe you're using the units for, and you'd like to share in the comment section below, I'd love to get some really good ideas and tips from you on how you're currently using the units feature for Facebook groups. Drop us a comment below and share and let us know what you're doing and give us some really great ideas to add to this episode. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly I really hope you did. If you did, make sure to share it, make sure to comment, make sure to like it via one of the social share links above, below, or around this video. And I'll see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.